Jacob. It's that time of year again. What? Christmas? Huh? Oh, no, this is just my Monday hat. No, Holstein World Video Competition. Well, you confuse me, David. Tonight, on Special Edition Tonight, around the world of the Gopher Dairy Club in 10 minutes. Only 10 minutes? 10 minutes, that's right. Well, let's get to it. Tonight, our special guest is Teresa Tui. She's currently the president of the Gopher Dairy Club. Teresa, why don't we start out, first questions first. How big is such a club? You know, our club has over 115 members, which makes us the biggest club on the St. Paul campus. Wow, that's impressive. How did you get tricked into taking such a big responsibility on hand? Well, I was walking down a dark alley one night, and a uh, thought came to me that I just wanted to do something awesome, and so I decided to be president of the Gopher Dairy Club. What could be better than that? Sounds like my Thursday night. Wow, Teresa, truly inspiring. But, one more question for you. Where in the world did you get such a hat? Oh, this old thing? Yeah. I got it while working at the Gopher Dairy Bar. Well, funny, because that's where we're going to right after this. Each year at the Minnesota State Fair, the Gopher Dairy Club sells shakes at the Gopher Dairy Bar to raise money for all of our activities for the upcoming year. I really enjoyed getting to meet all of the club members throughout the 12 days of fun at the Minnesota State Fair. So that's how the Dairy Club makes all their money. Wow, man, I love me some shakes. Next, on the Gopher Dairy Camp with Kelsey Brandt. Kelsey? Each summer, the Gopher Dairy Club hosts Gopher Dairy Camp, and this summer we had over 70 youth from across the tri-state area attend camp with us. Some of the things we do at camp are working on showmanship skills, fitting skills, and learning about the dairy industry. These are some of the calves that we use at Gopher Dairy Camp this summer, and they decided to have their own adventure this year by escaping their pen and going to run around the state fair. That reminds me. This one time at dairy camp? David, can't talk about that here. Sorry. Well, on to the weather. It's raining jerseys, everybody. Tyler, Doug, Nick, can you tell us more about our judging contest? Many members of the Gopher Dairy Club are also members of the University of Minnesota Dairy Judging Team. Here in the University Barnes, we use dairy cattle to evaluate and give reasons on it. One of my favorite memories from the dairy judging trips include random fire drills and watching people biff it on the pavement. These cattle are also used for research throughout the U of M. In addition to research, many students are able to come out and have hands-on experience in most of their classrooms. And on to Dairy Challenge. David, that way. Another opportunity for the Goal for Dairy Club members is to participate in the International Collegiate uh, Dairy Challenge. I was one of the participants to partake in the Midwest Regional Intercollegiate Dairy Challenge this past winter down in Kansas City, Missouri. And one of my favorite parts was just meeting the different members of the various clubs and being able to network with the different uh, career professionals that were there as well. Wow, what a challenge. Reminds me of the 98 NFC Championship game. Well, on to a lighter note, over to our first annual Dairy Networking event. Welcome to the first annual Gopher Dairy Club Networking Evening. This event was created to connect Dairy Club members with industry professionals for an opportunity to network and learn more about jobs and internships. Wow, simply astounding. Yeah, that networking event reminds me of our alumni reunion held at the World Day Expo. Now, let's flash back to the alumni. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Olson. I was last year's past president and I currently work for Mycogen Seeds with Dower Sciences. And my favorite memory of the Goat Berry Club would be all of the cookies and milk after the meeting. Hi, Amanda Duro, uh, 2009 graduate in animal science um, of the, and of the Gopher Dairy Club. I now work at Eggstar Financial Services. Um, I was in the Gopher Dairy Club all four years of undergrad, and my favorite memory is Gopher Dairy Camp and helping out every year, especially when the little kids forget how to tie the lead ropes and we got calves going crazy during the show. So it's always a good time to teach younger kids and be passionate about the dairy industry. And it's always a fun event to be a part of in the club. My name is Lana Olson, and I am a 2008 animal science graduate of the University of Minnesota and also a past president of the Gopher Dairy Club. Uh, Gopher Dairy Club was probably my favorite thing that I was involved in at the University of Minnesota. You know, so many memories come to mind when I think about GEC, um, World Dairy Expo, serving on exec, certainly senior trip, which was always a lot of fun, and, you know, just meeting a lot of friends that I still keep in contact with today. And in sports... Highlights from the alumni reunion. Students won, alumni zero. Better luck next year, alumni.
Wow, great report, Jake. Now on to the Schmitz with the social report. Oh. Hi, here at the Gopher Dairy Club, we do lots of fun social activities throughout the year, such as... Going to twins games. Or tubing. Eating milk and cookies at the meetings. Don't forget about cheesecake every now and then. And now back to you. Well, looked like the Schmitz had taken over the Dairy Club from the Atkins. Doubtful. On to our yearbook report. <laughs> Talk about some good old memories of the Gopher Dairy Club. Woo! Every year, the University of Minnesota's Gopher Dairy Club produces a top line, which is a yearbook of our events throughout the year. The articles come from the students, and the advertisements come from agricultural companies. Steph and myself are the 2012 and 2013 yearbook editors, where we write, publish, and revise the yearbook. That was a real good time. Remember that, David? Oh, we're back on air. So, speaking of good times. Not that kind of good times. We're talking about ADSA here. Our second special guest tonight is Emily Kreckelberg, National ADSA President. Or something. Gopher Dairy Club members have the opportunity to participate in regional and national meetings of the American Dairy Science Association Student Affiliate Division. These meetings provide members with opportunities to network with other dairy students from across the nation, as well as learn about industry happenings and compete in various competitions such as Quiz Bowl, Yearbook, and Website. Well, now we're going to stumble down the street from ADSA to Min Royal. Oh, yeah. Every spring at the University of Minnesota, the Gopher Dairy Club participates in an event called Min Royal, which is the equivalent of homecoming here on the St. Paul campus. We take part in a showmanship competition, quiz bowl, and Ag Olympics. The best part of the whole week is Thursday night, when Minnesota's own Johnny Holmes Band comes and performs in the Beef Barn. That's my favorite part. I thought up this order, but we're going from Min Royal on to scholarship. I wonder who's calling. It's Roxanne. Hello, Roxanne. Don't worry, you'll get your money. I swear, it's coming in the mail. She wants some money. Tell her know. it's coming. It's coming for scholarship. Gee, Don't worry. Kids these days. Every year, the University of Minnesota Gopher Dairy Club gives out at least 10. $1,500 scholarships and one $2,000 scholarship. If it helps students prepare for classes and being an out-of-state student, it really eases the burden of paying tuition for me. It also gave me a great opportunity to be part of a fantastic club here at the University of Minnesota. The longest 10 minutes of my life. Boy, you're telling me. Well, after watching this video, I feel justified in joining the Gopher Dairy Club for their obvious strict behavioral policies. Great economic adventures, and these things. Wow, that's truly interesting. Signing off tonight for special edition tonight. I'm Jacob Aachen. And I'm David Hansen. Have a good night, everybody. Hansen, out.